as much as there is to do in the city centre of Tampere, there is just as much to see on the outskirts of the main centre of the city. And that's where I am today, that's the area I'm going to be looking around. I'm currently perched on a huge rock close to a beach and a park. I can see islands and lakes behind me. It is a stunning area and I'm looking forward to taking a look around over the next few hours. The areas that I'm going to be focusing on are officially called Pispela and Puniki. I hope I'm pronouncing those right. This is the doorway to the alternate look at Tampere. You can see over the other side here of the water a big chimney stack, a former industrial area, and there is an observation tower on top of the ridge, a beach here as well. Let us have a look around and see what we can find. Pleasure to be outside today. It's about one degree, so it's pretty cold, but the sky is blue, it's bright, and it really is a, a stunning day. I'm on the beach, you can see the golden sand just beneath me. I would imagine in the summer this place is packed. I'm about 30 minutes walk from the city center, from the river in the middle of the city. And uh, rather than walking today, because I'm hoping to cover quite a bit of ground, I'm instead going to take another mode of transport, one that I have never taken before, and it is an electric scooter. So let me introduce you to my transportation and I'll tell you how it works. I'm standing at the back of the beach. There is more little huts and bars here closed up. And just here next to them, is a Voy scooter. I bought a daily pass for six euros 90 this morning. I'm not entirely sure how the pricing structure works, whether I've got to pay a minute by minute charge on top of that. We will find out soon, I guess. But this is the scooter. So essentially what you do, you've got a go button there. You've got brakes on both sides. And I think you have to kind of kickstart it off and then you're away. Right, let's see if we can get it working. There's the app. Scan to ride. Okay, so it's saying there's no unlocking fee. Usually it's one euro, so that must be because I bought that pass. And 20 cents a minute. So I think that's what the charge is going to be. I'm going to hit unlock. I'm paying for it with Apple Pay, it's unlocked, it's counting me down and it's asking me if I want to end the ride, so I guess when I'm ready to end the ride that's what I do. See if we can get it working. Got to get the gloves on. Right, wish me luck. Nikki Ridge now. This is Tampere's answer to Central Park and Hyde Park in New York and London. It is a beautiful area of pine trees that happen to follow a ridge way up above Tampere. It is busy today, lots of people out. 
you can see the pine trees lining either side of the road and there is an observation tower at the top there. The ridge rises to 160 meters above sea level and 80 meters above the surface of that lake down there if you can see it through the trees. Okay, I think I'm gonna head towards that observation tower. I have been told that there is a local coffee shop at the top here that serves coffee and donuts. So if it's not too busy, I will try and see if I can get myself a snack. There's a little map of the Paniki area. Let's have a look. There's the beach I was visiting a little while back. I've made my way up here somewhere through the pine trees and there's the observation tower. And I should also say that the ridge is more accurately called an esker because it is a natural formation of gravel and sand. And it is the highest esker in the world. Right, I'm feeling peckish. Let's go and get one of those donuts. So I've elected to sit outside, try and avoid the virus and all that. But I've got myself a coffee, a donut, and a ticket to go to the top. Here we go. So coffee looks good. There is the donut. Oh boy, that looks good. And then the ticket is just under here. There we are. I think the ticket was two euros to get to the top. The whole thing, seven euros. Not bad at all. So I'm gonna eat and drink my snacks here and then head to the top. Okay, here we go then. The proof of the pudding is in the taste. Let's see, Let's see what we make of it. Nice coffee with cream, I might add. Let's go for this donut. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know if that's focusing in, but it's warm and it smells good. Mm. Oh. oh yeah. Climb through a little hatch and I'm actually at the top of the observation tower now outside and wow what a view look at that unbelievable absolutely stunning I'm blown away there's the tower that I visited on my first day in Tampa Day there's the city you can see the park here in the foreground of all those pine trees the ridge that I walked along. Lakes both sides of Tampa Day. I was down there this morning somewhere near the chimney stack. There's a beach just over there. And across in the other direction here, you can follow the ridge along, which I'm planning to do this afternoon. There is a nice wooden area of the city over there. And background to the tower. What, what a spectacular place to be. That didn't take long to get to the bottom. Makes me feel a bit dizzy looking down there. There's the tower, the observation tower I went to on the first day here in Tampa Day. enjoyed that. I've got to say out of the two observation towers in the city that one was my favorite. The other one was good but the outdoor observation deck of the Nazinaula tower is closed at the moment so you can't get outside 
that one you could and also that one seems to be more central so I don't know whether it was a time of day that I visited but you could seem to see more across both of the lakes here we go these are just parked wherever you leave them by the way there is no official parking place when you're finished you just log out and off you go so I think I'm gonna get a ride I've made it to a narrow street that runs right the way along the top of the ridge and it is filled as you can possibly see behind me there with old wooden colorful houses it wasn't always part of Tampere. back in the day it was its own village or town but uh, they joined up some while ago and now it is actually part of Tampere. it's a neighborhood i guess right i think i'm going to continue on me you can see Finland's last remaining shot tower it is 55 meters high and it was built in 1908 to create shot balls and the way they would do it is that the workers would head up those zigzag steel steps every morning and they would drop molten lead down the tube that runs through the center of the tower into a water basin at the bottom and that would create shot balls it was closed in 1972 because the way of making shot balls changed over the years and new technology was developed to create them but it still stands there as a monument to this area's industrial past well this is a first for me i've never seen a floating sauna before it is just going underneath the bridge probably on its way into central Tampere to cater for a party it is Saturday night after all and it's followed by another one unbelievable a floating sauna here in Finland they do like their saunas I am back in the city centre of Tampere. You can see the river behind me and the bright lights of the factory buildings, the waterfall, and of course, the chimney stacks. I have had a fantastic few days in Finland. Enjoyed it very much. It's been good exploring Tampere, Pori, and Hamenlina. All of them have been great. I would love to spend a bit more time here, but unfortunately I've got a flight to catch tonight. So I'm about to head back to the airport back to London Stansted and it will be another trip over sadly but thanks very much for watching the video if you've enjoyed my travels around Finland then please consider subscribing helps the channel a lot but in the meantime and until the next video catch you in another country good night from Finland